Syracuse is adding a Chinese sister city to its trading family. Mayor Tom Young and Mayor Hong Young Shi shook hands this afternoon out in front of the Center of Progress building. Inside, the mayors previewed the city of Fuzhou, Fuzhou China's booth. State Fair exhibit sells just some of the products the city hopes to send here. This is an arrangement we began actually two years ago. And the purpose of it is to uh, form a partnership that will focus on uh, friendship and information exchange, educational opportunities, and I think most importantly, trade exchanges, import-export opportunities. Fuzhou has international trading privileges. The Chinese city joins uh, Tempere, Finland, and Syracuse, Italy as sister cities to Syracuse. While well, attendance at the fair on this day four ran slightly ahead of last year's pace, today, 64,810 people passed through the gate, bringing the four-day total to 256,997, and that's about 12,000 more people than a year ago. Wichita, Kansas has become the nation's focal point in the debate over abortion. Today, the pro-life movement had its day with a huge rally and some arrests. More from Walt Kane. God bless you. In a city torn apart by abortion protests, Pat Robertson's message was exactly what this huge crowd of pro-lifers wanted to hear. He called the members of Operation Rescue heroes for blocking the entrance to two abortion clinics. And he accused pro-choicers of distorting the issues. We are not in any way attempting to violate anyone's First Amendment freedoms. What we are trying to do is to protect the lives of innocent human beings from the cruel forceps of money-grubbing vultures who masquerade as men of Wim Edison. The crowd was even bigger than any anti-abortion group had predicted. 25,000 jammed the stadium at Wichita State University, and they weren't all from Kansas. An estimated thousand drove north from Oklahoma. They say this is an issue that affects all of us. It's important to support those who take a stand for life. Okay. And we're happy to drive a couple of hundred miles to be here. And this morning at one abortion clinic, the most physical confrontation yet between protesters and police. Officers sprayed mace when members of Operation Rescue linked arms and refused to move. The confrontation escalated as officers tried to break the chain. Protesters say the officers used unnecessary force. In Wichita, Walt Kane for NBC News. A shocking report tonight from the Justice Department about the extent of the drug war. A survey of 219,000 convicts show that 13% of them committed their crimes just to get money to feed their drug habits. The report shows drugs are a significant factor in generating crime. Well, stay with us. Hank Lucas will be here for a complete forecast uh, for a warm and beautiful week. There's never been one like it, not in 50 years, and there'll never be another one quite like this again. The Jeep 50th Anniversary Clearance Sale, where you can rediscover American value with clearance savings on Jeep Cherokee. Or save big with cash back on a legendary Jeep Wrangler. Plus, you could save more, so see your dealer today. There's never been a clearance like this before. There will never be one like it again. Get the advantage at your local Jeep and Eagle dealer. A kiss? <laughs> Maybe later. It's so bad, you can taste it. A kiss? <laughs> <laughs> the sticky, pasty film inside your mouth. It's pretty bad. You wake up with every morning of your life. Mm. Morning breath. I'll be right back. Fight morning breath with scope. Antiseptic scope kills on contact 90% of the bacteria that cause morning breath. Come here, you. Pucker up, sweetie pie. I'm all yours. Antiseptic scope. It's the best thing first thing in the morning. So anyway, I take the car in. Guy says he's got to keep it overnight. I can't afford to be without a car that long. Yeah, I know. Top it off. Acts like he's doing me a big favor. Why don't you go to Monroe? Monroe? That's mufflers. I'm talking brakes, shocks. I need an alignment. Trust me. Just go to Monroe. They do it all. Monroe Muffler Brake. We fix it fast. We fix it right. For the right price. Now, if they'd only get the fish to bite. <laughs> oh! Just kidding. <laughs> you gotta go, Monroe. Children believe a hand will always be there to hold them. That a ribbon can make you beautiful. And a kiss is a magic cure. Children believe this because they believe in moms. So being a mom, you like knowing that a sandwich made with Peter Pan provides a third of a child's daily protein. And that Peter Pan peanut butter simply tastes so good. 
Of course, you don't expect thanks, but sometimes you get lucky. Peter Pan peanut butter, because kids believe in moms. Here are tonight's winning lottery numbers. The daily number is 100, and the win four is 7848. That brings us to weather with Hank Lucas. It's, you know, this is the last week before school starts, so this is really the last vacation week of summer. This is the last biggie, and it looks like uh, we're delivering here, so no matter what the fall and winter bring, remember, the summer was pretty good, I think. Weather-wise, outside right now, for the most part, a clear sky, a few fair weather clouds, and our temperature holding at about 67 degrees. The wind's from the south at 7 miles per hour. The humidity on up there is 75%. And the barometer back on the rise at 30.36 inches. The high today, not bad, 80 degrees. The low early this morning was 53. The sun will rise tomorrow morning at 622 and sets in the evening at 750. Temperatures across the state pretty much in the 60s. And it looks like the temperatures will pretty much bottom out near 60 most spots. A little bit warmer off towards Buffalo, 71 degrees. That's about the only exception. Looks like as we take a look at the satellite picture, pretty much the entire state now is under some clear skies. Notice a little band of clouds moved on through the Empire State. An isolated shower or thunderstorm developed west of Rochester, but then quickly dissipated, and now uh, the lingering clouds moving into New England. Some clouds to our south will hold steady there for the next uh, 48 hours. A little bit of a frontal system lies off to our north. That may have a little bit of a factor in the weather later on in the week. The radar loop does show most of the rain activity well to our south, as well as some shower activity off towards the western part of the country. Really not a whole lot going on across the Great Lakes. Uh, a couple of very lone showers spread out just uh, north of the lake. Nothing big, though. As far as the current surface map is concerned, high pressure in control of the weather. It's actually an elongated high that goes all the way back into the Ohio Valley. So it looks like we're in pretty good weather shape. But it's this front that, uh, if there's any problem at all with the forecast, would be the culprit that will uh, drop a little bit further to the south during the day tomorrow. This area of low pressure is going to develop and move along the front, and as it does so, it's going to try to usher in some cooler temperatures. For the most part, I think the uh, cooler temperatures will stay across northernmost New England, and that front may get into the Adirondacks that would be close enough to give us an isolated thunder shower towards midweek, but that's about it for the most part. The temperatures as a whole during the daytime hours this week uh, generally into the 80s, and there should be a halfway decent amount of sunshine, so a great stretch of weather on the way. Eventually, this front back in here will catch up to us, but uh, uh, perhaps not until some point next weekend, so certainly several days of nice weather are expected. Temperatures across the nation tomorrow for this time of the year, well above normal. Uh, normal high temperature in Syracuse this time of the year, about 78, 79 degrees, and we should be into the mid-80s tomorrow. And look at all the heat and humidity building into the central part of the country. Our temperatures may approach 90 towards Tuesday or Wednesday, but I don't think we'll quite break into the 90s, but still plenty warm for this time of the year. The forecast then for the rest of the night, partly cloudy on average. Temperatures are right around normal, 60 degrees, the uh, expected low for tonight. And for tomorrow, if you're heading to the fair, really no problems, partly sunny, slightly more humid than it has been, but still nothing oppressive. And temperatures about six, seven degrees above normal at 85. Tomorrow night, Partly cloudy. It will be a rather humid night tomorrow night and hazy. Overnight low temperatures near 64. Then the extended forecast will show a, a pretty good warming trend as well as some more humidity moving in. I think Tuesday is going to be kind of a sticky day with some summer-like weather returning. Temperatures in the mid-80s and then as that front kind of moves a little bit closer during the day Wednesday and Thursday, just maybe an isolated thunder shower or two. But for the most part, the week ahead looks mostly dry and mostly warm and also a little bit more humid. So if you're planning on a vacation this week, your last real chance before school starts, it's going to be a pretty good way to stick it out. I don't summer. think anybody's going to complain. <laughs> good. Thanks a lot. Anna Benini is in next with sports, and the Mets looking to avoid a sweep tonight against the world champion Reds and the Chiefs taking on the Red Wings of Rochester.